Thanks a lot, Halaliam. So, everybody, we are going to share this Lord of God today. This week is a holy week. Praise the Lord. Um, this is a message in English and French. Um, today's subject is the, the blood of the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Nous avons le sang à parler du sang et de la puissance du sang de Jésus, Yeshua, aujourd'hui. Pastor Pai, I want to give the thanks and praise to the Lord uh, because of today's the great presence of the Lord. Um, thank you, Brother Sebulon. Thank you for the song today, worship today. It was an anointed worship. And thank you, Brother Join here and the Saba. Uh, God bless you, Silpa. How did you share? Uh, also joined in the Zoom. God bless you, uh, brother. Thank you, brother, uh, Pastor Bruno. Thank you for translating today. So may our Holy Spirit touch everybody, lots of souls, when this gospel reaching to all the places throughout this world. Merci à vous tous qui êtes connectés aujourd'hui, aux frères et bilans, pour la musique, l'adoration et la louange. Et bien sûr, au frère Bruno pour la traduction vers le français et à vous tous qui êtes là pour ce message qui sera traduit de l'anglais vers le français. Oh, merci que c'est heureux de vous avoir avec nous. Merci d'être là. Um, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Gloire à Dieu. All right. So today's subject is the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Powerful subject. Today I am preaching by the grace of God, the power of the blood of Jesus. Aujourd'hui, je vais prêcher par la grâce de Dieu sur la puissance du sang de Jésus. I would like to take this uh, section in five parts, five different parts. Uh, by the grace of God, would like to take because the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, it is impossible to preach in 40 or 45 minute time. Nous allons uh, enseigner cette, uh, donner cet enseignement en cinq parties et sur le, la puissance du sang de Jésus par la grâce de Dieu. The first part I would like to read today the redemption through the blood of Jesus. Première partie, nous verrons la rédemption par le sang de Jésus. The another part in the following weeks, we would like to share the fellowship with God through the blood of Jesus. Euh, ensuite, nous verrons la solution que Dieu nous a apportée par le sang de Jésus. Third part, I would like to take by the grace of God the healing through the blood of Jesus. Ensuite, nous parlerons de la guérison par le sang de Jésus. The fourth section would like to preach the protection through the blood of Jesus. La quatrième, euh, le quatrième segment nous parlera de le sang de Jésus, de tout ce que le sang de Jésus nous apporte. The fifth session. Uh, would like to preach authority over the devil, authority over the devil through the blood of Jesus. La, le cinquième, uh, la cinquième partie, ce, cela concernera l'autorité que nous avons à travers le sang. So today I'm preaching the redemption through the blood of Jesus. Aujourd'hui, donc, uh, nous allons nous pencher sur la rédemption à travers le sang de Jésus. The people, those who are watching, please continuously see, watch this session every Wednesday, so that you, you will, when you are watching this session, you will get the anointing from the Holy Spirit to overcome all the work of the devil, what all the situation it is coming and happening in your life. Vous tous qui nous suivez de façon consistante et permanente, sachez que en nous suivant toujours, vous aurez l'onction qui vous permettra de marcher avec autorité 
sur les œuvres du diable par le sang de Jésus. The Bible says, Book of Hebrew, chapter 13, verse 12, in this Bible says, Book of Hebrew, chapter 13, verse 12, in this Bible says, Therefore Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered outside the gate. Et lisons dans Hébreu chapitre 13, le verset 12. Sortons donc pour aller à lui hors du camp en portant son nos propres. En fait, ça commence euh, par c'est pour cela que Jésus aussi, afin de sanctifier le peuple par son propre sang, a souffert hors de la porte. That means uh, God wants us to be in a new relationship with the sin that previously condemned us. Dieu veut donc que nous soyons en relation avec lui et à travers et, et soyons libérés du péché qui nous condamnait. Amen. Bible says that is why he gave, God gave us the power through the blood of his son to be cleansed from our sinful behaviors. Et la Bible dit que c'est à cause de cela qu'il nous a donné la puissance par le sang de son fils pour nous laver, nous purifier. The power of the blood of Jesus Christ has provided everything. Bible is saying everything. The power of the blood of Jesus Christ has provided you and me everything. You need to live a life of victory, including redemption, fellowship, healing, protection, and authority over the devil. La Bible dit que par le sang de Jésus, nous avons toutes ces bénédictions, la guérison, la rédemption, nous avons la purification, l'autorité par le sang de Jésus. Amen. Praise the Lord. That means whenever you and me, when we are using the blood of Jesus Christ, that means and their satanic world will scare. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is so much fear. The people, the born again people, when you are taking the blood of Jesus Christ, by the knowledge in Christ. This is very important one. By your knowledge in Christ. What is the knowledge? What Jesus Christ has done for you at the cross for you and me. Ça veut dire que vous et moi, Lorsque nous croyons en Christ, nous naissons de nouveau, nous sommes lavés par le sang de Jésus et la connaissance que nous avons à travers notre salut nous donne la victoire sur les œuvres de l'ennemi. Amen. When you're reading the Old Testament, Book of Hebrew, chapter 9, verse 7, and this Bible says, Book of Hebrew, chapter 9, verse 7, but into the second part, of the high priest, when alone, once a year, not without blood, that means with the blood, right, the Lord, which he offered for himself and for the people's sin committed in ignorance. Um, Hebrew 9, verse 7, Hebrew 9, let's read from the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verse 7. Ok, nous allons lire dans le livre de Hébreu, chapitre 9, le verset 7. Et dans la seconde, le souverain sacrificateur seul entre une fois par an, non sans y porter du sang qu'il offre pour lui-même et pour les péchés du peuple. Amen. That means, that means in the Old Testament, the high priest was using the blood of animals to cleanse the you know that the sinful life of the people ça veut dire que dans l'ancien testament le, le souverain sacrificateur se servait des animaux du sang des animaux pour la purification des péchés du peuple we are celebrating all the world is creating all the you know the entire this nations are celebrating praise the lord the holy week this week that means Tomorrow is a more intense Thursday. This Friday is a good Friday. Praise the Lord. Uh, Sunday is a Easter Sunday. According to this world calendar. But I don't believe the date which is correct or not. 
praise lord it is not important the date but the jesus christ has done praise the lord died at the cross for you and me this is what in their world is remembering this week hello cette semaine uh, précisément uh, dite semaine sainte et le vendredi qui sera vendredi saint uh, le jour qui permettra de se sou de nous souvenir de l'œuvre sacrificielle sacrificiel de Christ à la croix de Golgotha et le dimanche c'est celui le jour qui euh, symbolise et, et nous rappelle la résurrection de Christ alléluia book of ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 in this bible saying praise lord the people those are watching please share this gospel message okay book of ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 in this bible says in him that means in jesus christ we have redemption through his blood wonderful and powerful mighty word of god in jesus christ we have redemption through his blood dans le livre de Ephésiens, chapitre 1, le verset 7, il nous est dit « En lui, c'est-à-dire en Christ Jésus, nous avons la rédemption par son sang, la rémission des péchés selon la richesse de sa grâce. » Alléluia. Again, the Bible says, book of Ephésiens, chapitre 1, verset 7, « The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. » Praise the Lord. La Bible dit bien dans Ephésiens 1, verset 7, toujours la rémission des péchés selon la richesse de sa grâce. Gloire à Dieu. Redemption, that means not only from the sinful life, but in all the areas of your life, our God has paid the price for you to get the victory at the cross of Calvary. La rémission des péchés signifie non seulement euh, que la vie la nature pécheresse a été ôtée, mais que vos péchés, vos erreurs, tout ce que vous faites est couvert par le sang, lavé par le sang de Jésus. Alléluia. Lots of people are suffering today. How I will come out? I don't have house. Praise the Lord. I don't have job. I don't have any of these things. Praise the Lord. Our God is saying, by the blood of Jesus Christ, you have got the authority to praise the Lord. Claim what all the things you need in your life. Il y a plusieurs qui se plaignent aujourd'hui dans leur prière. Dieu, je n'ai pas de maison. Dieu, je n'ai pas d'argent. Je n'ai pas ci, je n'ai pas ça. Mais par l'autorité que nous avons dans le sang de Jésus, vous pouvez réclamer tout ce que vous voulez, ce dont vous avez besoin. Et cela vous sera accordé car le sang nous donne accès au Père. Alléluia. Bible says, book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, Bible says, we are blessed with all the spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. That means our God is blessed to walk as a victorious person in all the days of your life. La Bible nous dit dans Ephesians chapter 1, le verset 3, que euh, euh, béni soit Dieu le Père de notre Seigneur Jésus Christ qui nous a bénis de toutes sortes de bénédictions dans les lieux célestes en Christ. Ça veut dire que tout ce dont nous avons besoin, y compris notre rédemption, nous a été accordé comme une bénédiction par le nom de Jésus-Christ. Alléluia. In the will of God is, you and me, we have to fight against our enemies. Praise the Lord. Fight against our enemies. Then after that, we have to take the victory by the blood of Jesus Christ. This is the will of God towards you and me. Et la volonté de Dieu pour nous, c'est que vous puissiez combattre vos ennemis et que vous soyez vainqueur au-dessus de tous ces esprits qui, vous, qui luttent contre vous. You know, when you're looking at um, the, the book of Genesis, uh, book of Exodus, all the children of Israel, our God has taken out all the children of Israel from the land of Egypt to the promised hand, land of Canaan. But in the wilderness, praise the Lord, hallelujah, 40 years they were in the wilderness. Our God is fearing them and giving them the heavenly manna to each one of them. Lorsque le peuple de Dieu était en Égypte et devrait se rendre sur la terre promise, oui, Dieu s'est manifesté puissamment à travers des signes, à travers des signes et dont l'un nous représente la rédemption pour nous 
et ils l'ont reçu en quittant la terre de leurs oppresseurs. Alléluia. You know, after the death of Moses, what happened? Joshua, he took the leadership from God. Praise the Lord. He was, he became the leader of all the children of Israel. Mais quand Moïse mourut, que se passa-t-il? C'est Josué qui prit la direction du peuple pour le conduire sur la terre promise. After that, all the children of Israel, what they did? Our God was not at all giving any other land freely to them. After that, when, when you are reading the book of Joshua, all the children of Israel, they were fighting against their enemies and they were uh, taking all the lands. Ensuite, et à partir de ce moment, le peuple de Dieu, sous la direction de Josué, le nouveau libérateur, le nouveau leader, a commencé par combattre des peuples ennemis jusqu'à entrer sur la terre promise. That is what Bible is saying. In the after the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ will never simply our God cannot give anything to you. Praise the Lord. That is what our God is written everything in the Bible. Praise the Lord. All the promises, more than 3,000 promises are written in this Bible. All the promises it, which is written in the Bible, it is for you and me to live in this world as a successful person. Et c'est pourquoi, dès ce moment, et comme ils l'ont eu cette victoire, c'est possible désormais pour nous aussi d'avoir l'accomplissement de toutes les promesses, les 3000 promesses contenues dans la Bible. Nous pouvons les voir s'accomplir à travers la fidélité de Dieu. C'est possible. Amen. That's what the Bible is saying. Okay, book of Hebrew, chapter 10, verses 19, the Bible is saying, Therefore, our brethren, uh, having bondless to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus Christ. That means you and me, we all are worthy to reach and stand in front of the Heavenly Father. That means in the most holy places in the heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Et comme nous pouvons le lire dans le livre d'Hébreu, chapitre 10, oui, l'auteur le, le, de ce livre nous exhorte à entrer par le, la voie tracée par le sang de Jésus, l'accès donné par le sang de Jésus au travers du voile pour venir dans la présence du Père dans le lieu très saint, dans le sanctuaire céleste. Amen. And the word book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 20, the Bible says, By a new and living way, which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh. Oui, dans le livre d'Hébreu, chapitre 10, le verset 20. Par la route nouvelle et vivante qu'il a inaugurée pour nous au travers du voile, c'est-à-dire de sa chair. Amen. By the blood, of, that means by the blood of Jesus Christ, the entire heaven has given the people those are born again. You have got the heavenly access, praise the Lord, open doors directly to the heaven, to the most holy places, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oui, ça veut dire que par le sang de Jésus, une route nouvelle nous est tracée et pour que nous puissions traverser le voile, entrer dans le lieu très saint, dans le nom de Yeshua. Now lots of people, now lots of people are having You know, there are lots of troubles in your life. Why it is there trouble? All the troubles are still there in your life. Praise the Lord. The people you are, you are not at all using the blood of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. You have to take the blood of Jesus Christ. Claim to the Heavenly Father. I am the child of God. I am worthy to take. Legally, I have got that legal right to, I know, to take the blood of Jesus Christ. Use the blood of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I'm coming to the most holy places and accessing in my eternal spirit of God. Praise the Lord. And receive the blood of, blood of Jesus Christ, applying in all the parts of my body, and applying all my business areas, and applying the blood of Jesus Christ in my families, and applying the blood of Jesus Christ all the places wherever I'm facing the failure. Then situation will change. Will get changed in your life. 
Alléluia. Si vous avez des difficultés dans votre vie, des choses, euh, des points morts dans votre vie, euh, des choses que vous regrettez, invoquez seulement le sang de Jésus. Déclarez que euh, par le sang de Jésus-Christ, vous prononcez, déclarez la vie hein, dans, le, dans votre corps. Déclarez que la vie se manifeste, la vie se manifeste dans votre vie et dans votre organisme et vous verrez de l'ordre, ces choses s'accomplir par le nom de Jésus-Christ. Amen. Most of the people are thinking, world people are thinking, Jesus Christ has died at the cross, praise the Lord, shed his blood at the cross for you, you and me. That blood is not there. But no, Jesus Christ shed his blood, all the drop of, the last drop of blood for you and me at the cross. Praise the Lord. That all the drop, each and every drop, it was already, it is there in the heaven. That blood of Jesus Christ is still alive in the hands of the Heavenly Father. Alléluia. Lorsque Jésus-Christ est mort à la croix, vous et moi, nous n'y étions pas. Lorsqu'il a versé son sang, vous et moi, nous n'y étions pas. Mais quand il est descendu de la croix, il est ressuscité, il a pris son sang et les a rendus et re, l'a remis dans les mains de son Père, Dieu le Père dans les cieux. La Bible dit que Jésus Christ est le seul médiateur entre le Père et le Père. Ça veut dire que Jésus Christ est un advocate. Qu'est-ce qu'un advocate? Le sang de Jésus Christ va vous parler au Père et au Père pour vous donner la protection pour vous et moi. La Bible dit que Jésus Christ est le chemin seul chemin qui mène vers Dieu le Père, ça signifie. Donc, par le sang de Jésus, nous avons accès direct à notre Père et cela de façon définitive. That's your book of uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. I would like to read one more time. In Him, that means in Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. That means Jesus Christ is a God. Jesus Christ is a Savior. Without Jesus Christ, nothing will happen in our life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are a born again person, praise the Lord, you must take the blood of Jesus Christ and apply your, all the parts of your body in all the years of your life each and every day. Praise the Lord. Then only you can stand as a victorious person in this world. Alors, comme nous le dit, Ephésiens chapitre 1, le verset 7, lui, nous avons la rédemption par le sang, la rémission des péchés. Voyez, le sang de Jésus, vous pouvez l'appliquer sur votre corps, l'appliquer sur votre vie et recevoir tout ce qui est promis. Vous verrez votre vie renouvelée, transformée par la puissance qui est contenue dans le sang de l'agneau de Dieu. Amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. The, the, just I want to say a little bit of testimony, um, you know, what our God has done in my life. I'm the street preacher, praise the Lord. I'm preaching gospel in the street. Whenever I get in time, praise the Lord, um, I will preach the gospel uh, in the street. Last 2017 onwards, continuously I was doing by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. Alors, je voudrais vous donner un exemple, raconter une histoire relative à, à moi-même. Euh, en tant que prédicateur de rue, vous savez, je prêche l'évangile dans les rues de Londres et voilà, je voudrais dire quelque chose qui est arrivé à moi. Amen. Praise the Lord. Right. When I was preaching right. the gospel in the street, some, some places a lot of problems have happened. Some people are coming to attack me. Praise the Lord. LLDM. Some people are not to allow me to preach the gospel. Some places, you know that one, uh, you know that one, uh, we can preach the gospel. Wherever I was facing the problem, what I was doing, I will apply the blood of Jesus Christ Not only in my body, in all the equipments, whatever I was carried, praise or carrying that place. That means the people, those when when the time when I'm when I was applying the blood of Jesus Christ, that time, all the things which is coming against my life, it was going one by one. Vous savez, quand je sors pour aller prêcher l'évangile, euh, je rencontre des gens de toute nature et tout le monde euh, n'aime pas vraiment ce que je fais. Vous savez, je reçois des attaques, alors j'asperge je, je, le sang de Jésus euh, sur tout endroit où je reste pour prêcher. Mais aussi, j'asperge le sang de Jésus sur mon corps, sur moi-même, 
Et c'est ainsi que tout ce qui m'est envoyé spirituellement est détourné par la puissance contenue dans le sang de Jésus-Christ. Alléluia. That means how God has given, when I was applying the blood of Jesus Christ, that time, God has given the protection to me. Donc, chaque fois que j'applique le sang de Jésus, la victoire m'est accordée au nom de Jésus-Christ. So, this world is a wicked world. Wherever, if anybody is preaching this gospel, there is a satanic world. Because we are standing in the warfare. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is a Satan, satanic people. Praise the Lord. They will come and you know, prevent you to preach this gospel. That time, what you have to do it? You have to take and use the blood of Jesus Christ with the authority which our God has given to you. Hello, come moi. Et lorsque je sors pour annoncer l'évangile, il y a ceux du monde satanique qui sont en activité parce que nous sommes dans un combat spirituel, dans un combat permanent. Vous aussi. Que le sang Bible... de Jésus sur vous-même. Alléluia. Praise the Lord. Alléluia. So that Bible, 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 the book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, Bible saying, In him we have redemption through his blood. Praise the Lord. And for forgiveness of sins. According to the riches of His grace, that all the areas of your life, if you want to walk as a victorious person, if you want to see the victory, praise the Lord. If you want to come out from the failure to the success, you must take, you must access in front of the Heavenly Father, and you have to take the blood of Jesus Christ, apply the blood of Jesus Christ wherever you are suffering the failures, praise the Lord. Then our God can change the situation for you. Nous lisons dans Ephésiens chapitre 1, verset 7. En lui, nous avons la rédemption par, le, par son sang, la rémission des péchés selon la richesse de sa grâce que Dieu a répandue sur nous par toute espèce de sagesse et d'intelligence. Voyez, euh, si vous devez obtenir euh, la victoire et quitter l'échec, si vous devez... Euh, recevoir la purification et sortir des souillis du péché, vous devez appliquer le sang de Jésus, invoquer le, évoquer, évoquer le sang de Jésus et sur vous, sur votre vie, et vous verrez comment euh, vous en sortirez mieux. Alléluia. According to the Bible, 100%, you know that one, the sickness and failures are coming from your life, in your life, not from the God. But it is from the evil spirit. Et selon la Bible, tout malheur qui vous arrive, toute maladie, infirmité qui vous arrive, tout cela n'arrive, ne vient pas de Dieu, mais de l'ennemi vient du diable. Alléluia. Bible is saying, our God is a good God. Our God will never do any of the evil things in your life. Our la Bible dit que notre Père est un bon Dieu et qu'il ne fera jamais rien de mauvais, rien de nuisible à aucun de ses enfants. If the will of God is, you and me to get the prosper in all the areas of your life. That is what the book of Genesis chapter 12, Bible is saying, praise the Lord, our God is blessed. Abraham, you shall be a blessing. Not only, the, um, I'm, not only I'm blessing for you, but through you, all the nations will be a blessed for people. Et notre Dieu, fera en sorte que vous soyez béni, euh, mais que vous ne soyez pas juste quelqu'un qui reçoit des bénédictions. Mais il fera en sorte que des nations, d'autres, plusieurs, soient bénis à travers vous, que vous deveniez une source de bénédiction. Alléluia. If any other things which is coming against your life, maybe court case, praise the Lord, maybe jobless problem, the sickness, depression, anxiety, praise the Lord, family problems, praise the Lord, various kinds of sickness, things which is coming against your life, this and all, it is a work of the devil. Bible is saying, the son of man manifested in this world to destroy the work of the devil. Lorsque des choses maléfiques vous arrivent, lorsque c'est l'anxiété, c'est l'angoisse, c'est le stress, c'est les maladies, la Bible dit, que c'est justement pour ces choses, pour détruire ces choses, que le Fils de Dieu a été envoyé. Jésus-Christ est venu afin de détruire ces choses de votre vie. Alléluia. If our God wants to destroy all the evil spirit work which is happening 
in your life our god need you praise the lord our god need my effort and your effort pass a bonus effort effort our god need brother report our god need praise the lord we have to put one step forward you have the authority take the blood of jesus christ apply the blood of jesus christ and cast the all the evil spirit in the name of jesus christ then we can walk as a victorious person alleluia si l'une quelconque de cette de ces choses là devrait venir à siéger à sujetter votre vie à de façon audacieuse avec assurance oui tenez-vous debout et invoquez le sang de Jésus invoquez le nom de Jésus-Christ et vous verrez ces choses vous fuir et vous marcherez dans la victoire sur elle toute alléluia that, that's what i said before all the children of israel when they came out from the land of egypt to the promised land of canaan our god is protecting the last 40 years praise the lord when the time of joshua's time our god was not at all giving any other manner or anything praise the lord they were fighting against their enemies praise the lord they were putting their effort our god was giving them the power and authority strength and everything and weapons and everything they were using that weapons against their enemies they were getting our god was giving the victory over their enemies to them et comme je vous l'avais dit les, euh, les enfants de dieu quand ils étaient ils étaient sortis des ils étaient dans le désert ils combattaient leurs ennemis dieu leur donnait la victoire dieu leur permettait chaque fois qu'ils étaient en bon terme avec leur dieu ils battaient leurs ennemis les détruisaient et ils conquéraient et con oui des terres des terres et, et pour marcher dans la victoire vers leur terre promise alléluia that means if you are a born again person born again last year i mean a uh, few days before our god will teach you our god will protect you but after you born again after few years later still you are asking god help me help me our god cannot help you praise the lord there is a bible there is a bible words praise the lord you should come out from your child position praise the lord as a mature person when you are reading the bible holy spirit will help you how to use the blood of jesus christ how to overcome your enemies how to defeat the work of the work of the devil how to come out from your sickness everything it is possible through the blood of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ nous ici vous êtes né de nouveau si vous avez le salut en christ et quel que soit le temps que cela a fait vous avez besoin que vous soyez enseigné qu'on vous apprenne et qu'on vous euh, équipe à pouvoir marcher et à opérer avec le sang et l'autorité contenue dans le sang de Jésus-Christ pour la victoire sur vos ennemis. Some people are thinking the last so many years, so many months I was using the blood of Jesus Christ casting out devils. Nothing is happening. But in the spiritual realm, the things are happening. As I said, we are standing the, on the war in the warfare. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have to every day. We have to fight against God. If I not fight against God, fight against your devils, enemies. Praise the Lord. Each and every day, each and every hour, each and every moment, each and every fraction of second, we have to fight against the you know the don't the work of the devil. Then only our God can get the victory. If not, you cannot see any other victory. Come, uh, 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 Wallace. Uh, certain. Ils disent, euh, je, 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 je n'arrive pas à chasser les démons, je n'arrive pas. C'est pourtant ce qui nous est promis, c'est ça notre portion. Nous devons pouvoir euh, chasser les démons, marcher sur les forces de l'ennemi. Nous devons, nous devons chercher à être instruits, à être conduits à être équipé pour pouvoir marcher chaque jour de victoire en victoire sur l'ennemi et sur Book of Romans chapter 5 verse 12 in this bible saying book of Romans chapter 5 verse 12 and 13 bible saying therefore just as through one man sin entered the world and death through sin and thus death spread to all men because all sinned 
Nous allons lire dans le livre de Romains, l'épître de Paul aux Romains, le chapitre 5, le verset 12. C'est pourquoi, comme par un seul homme, le péché est entré dans le monde, et par le péché, la mort, et qu'ainsi la mort s'est étendue sur tous les hommes, parce que tous sont péchés. Amen. Book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 13, Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. Euh, nous lirons dans Galates chapitre 3, le verset 13. Christ nous a rachetés de la malédiction de la loi étant devenue malédiction pour nous, car il est écrit « Maudit et quiconque est pendu sur le bois » afin que la bénédiction d'Abraham eût pour les païens son accomplissement en Jésus-Christ. Amen. Book of Galatians chapter 3, verses 14, Bible says, Why it happened? Like, I'm going to finish in a 10 minute time, okay? And the 10 minute time, I'm going to close this session. So, Book of Galatians chapter 3, verses 14, in this Bible saying that the blessings of Abraham might come <laughs> upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that right. we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. <clears throat> Le verset 14 du livre de Galates au chapitre 3, « Afin que la bénédiction d'Abraham eût pour les païens son accomplissement en Jésus-Christ et que nous ressuscions par la foi l'Esprit qui avait été promis. » Amen. That's what the Bible says, okay. Why it happened? Why Jesus Christ shed his bread? Oh, all the blessings of Abraham. How Abraham, he was walking as a victorious person. When, you know, the greatest problem happened, praise the Lord, hallelujah, when Lot and Abraham separated, that time our God has blessed again, Abraham, praise the Lord, hallelujah, Abraham, lift up your eyes and look at the north, the south, the west and east, wherever you are looking, wherever you are touching your feet, I'm granted to you and given to you the same blessing. If you want you and me to receive in your life and my life, we need Jesus Christ. We have to use the blood of Jesus Christ. Lorsqu'il est question de la bénédiction d'Abraham, Dieu a fait cette promesse à Abraham. Il lui a dit de regarder le nord, le sud, l'est, l'ouest et de voir. Il dit, je te donnerai toutes ces terres. De la même manière, oui, ayant donné ta vie à Christ, ayant cru en Christ, tu peux voir les promesses de Dieu s'accomplir pour toi aussi et comme sur les promesses de Dieu à Abraham. Alléluia. Amen. Galatians chapter 3, verses 40, I would like to read one more time that the blessings of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promises of the Spirit through the faith. Praise the Lord. Je lis encore uh, Abra, uh, Galates 3, le verset 14, afin que la bénédiction d'Abraham eût pour les païens son accomplissement en Jésus-Christ et que nous ressuscions par la foi l'esprit qui avait été promis. Amen. Alléluia. That means if you are suffering any of the sickness today, maybe cancer, the tumor, HIV positive, maybe arthritis, maybe depressions, the anxiety, you know, maybe, maybe any kinds of things which is coming against your life. You had to think, read the Bible. Abraham, he was not having any of these issues. Praise the Lord. He was a blessed person. If Abraham, he was not at all having any of the sick in his body, you should not receive it. Through Jesus Christ, when the time and the moment when you are using the blood of Jesus Christ and applying in all the organs, all the parts of your body, the devils, in the evil spirit, the what all the sickness which is there in your life, our God is saying, praise the Lord, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, you are healed. Our God can cast out all the sickness from your body. Et cela veut dire si aujourd'hui vous avez le uh, des difficultés, des, 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 des infirmités, des maladies, est-ce le cancer, est-ce une tumeur, est-ce uh, un mal quelconque, évoquez uh, le sang de Jésus-Christ, recevez à travers la puissance du sang de Jésus-Christ la guérison qui est à vous par l'autorité que confère le sang de Jésus, vous serez guéri. C'est la promesse de Dieu pour vous. Recevez cette promesse, elle est à vous. Amen. I can go to this message today if you are thinking, praise the Lord. 
the so many years you cannot grow up you cannot able to come out praise the lord the so situations are saying praise the lord you cannot able to come out your family members are you know making the trouble to you um, even the time of preaching this gospel maybe your the financial areas are down today praise the lord you don't have money to manage in your life maybe you cannot able to preach the gospel your neighbors your family members maybe the the society the people are disturbing you praise the lord hallelujah that means you are growing you are such a powerful person praise the lord because of this reason if anybody is attacking you that means in the spiritual realm our god is looking at you are such a powerful person devil is looking at you are a powerful person because of this reason devil is always trying to attack and destroy your life Et si aujourd'hui vous traversez des situations qui euh, vous résistent à tout, qui vous colle pas la paix, euh, sachez que vous êtes en face des ennemis, en conflit, dans un combat avec des ennemis euh, qui sont forts, qui sont puissants, mais qui peuvent vous lâcher si vous pouvez invoquer le sang de Jésus, parce que devant lui Yeah, Bible is saying we have to use the blood of Jesus Christ. Praise the day, the time, the moment when you when we use the blood of Jesus Christ, the evil spirit will go out from you. Praise the Lord. That means when I was preaching for my testimony. Praise the Lord. When I preach the gospel in any of the places, praise some territory, evil spirit will come and attack me. I know the spirit, spiritual realm. I know that one. Evil spirit attack. Sometimes it will take few months to come out to recover. for this area praise the lord each and each i will recover few days few weeks it will it will take recover praise the lord slowly the spirit is able to still go out from us praise the lord that means if you are a gospel preacher our god has given a powerful mighty weapon that means the mighty weapons over the evil spirit that is the blood of jesus christ they see uh Je sens, je sens qu'il a des esprits qui euh, 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 viennent euh, m'attaquer et faites comme je fais, j'évoque le sang de Jésus, j'applique le sang de Jésus pour euh, les chasser, pour les éloigner parce que je sais que nous sommes dans un combat et un euh, combat spirituel permanent et l'arme la plus redoutable que nous avons justement c'est le Alleluia. Before I finish the session, praise the Lord. This is a beautiful word I want to message I want to say. Praise the Lord. If you are facing any other trouble in your life, praise the Lord. Alleluia. What is your dream today? Praise the Lord in Christ Jesus. You apply the blood of Jesus Christ in life. Praise the Lord in your sickness, in your body, in your mind, in your heart. Praise the Lord in your business. Praise the Lord. Wherever you are facing failure, access and and in the, in the most holy places. by the blood of jesus say to the heavenly say please say to the heavenly father heavenly father according in the according um, you know that one um, in a, according to the bible i have the legal right to enter and to access the blood of jesus christ and apply in my all the failures in all my bodies in all the errors from my my life praise the lord say accordingly praise the lord then he will spirit will flee from you go out from you praise the lord your situation will get changed your financial areas will get changed your sickness automatically will go off from you praise the lord maybe a tumor will the tumor will get disappear cancer chemotherapy will go off right now praise the lord hallelujah that and all will get end right now praise the lord that means the blood of jesus christ can do unbelievable mighty and creative miracle in our life hey man last que vous avez vous êtes en foi difficultés, à des maladies, à des problèmes de toute nature. Vous savez maintenant, et à la, comme nous arrivons à la fin de ce message, comment faire, vous savez que vous avez le sang de Jésus, le sang de Jésus-Christ, euh, l'agneau de Dieu immolé à la croix qui est disponible pour vous en débarrasser. Invoquez le sang, invoquez le sang, appliquez le sang sur, euh, sur n'importe quelle partie de votre corps. Appliquez le sang. Such a wonderful word. Amen. Alléluia. Amen. Can you wonderful God with Jesus? Such a wonderful God we have. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I'm going to pray for you. Praise the Lord right now. Our God will touch you. The, I think this message is a beautiful message. Our God has given you that knowledge to each and every people. How I am getting the victory each and every life in my life. How I am getting that I will share right now. Oui. Le sang va arriver au moment où je vais prier pour vous. Le sang de Jésus va opérer dans votre vie et vous en verrez l'efficacité comme ça a touché ma vie aussi. Amen. Last four years, continuously, every day, we are doing this gospel revival without any single day. Many times, you know, that my Facebook, YouTube, you know, all the social media so di you know, disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Admin lost my admin. Praise the Lord. And all the, all the platforms trying to attack by the devil. Praise the Lord. Why? Pastor George is still preaching this gospel as four years because by the in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. De temps en temps, uh, my platform uh, sont attaquées, YouTube, Zoom et tout le reste. Mais malgré tout, moi, le pasteur Jolie, je continue de prêcher l'évangile de Jésus-Christ depuis 40 ans. Et la victoire est toujours de mon côté. Amen. Alléluia. The more you are getting failure, that means our God wants to do something more in your life. You have to think accordingly. When you are facing the trouble in your gospel preaching, you should not go and sit in your house. You have to think the different way. When you are facing trouble, the attack from the devil, maybe your friends, your family members, when you are when they are disturbing you, praise the Lord, attacking you, praise the Lord. That time you have to think it over. Our God's plan is the greatest plan in my life. So that we have to, every day you have to work out something more for God. What I have, to, I have done today, today if I am preaching 45 minute time, tomorrow I have to preach 5 minutes more, 15 minute time for God. Because by the blood of Jesus Christ, our God has appointed you as a prophet and evangelist and teacher and missionary as an apostle to the world for the entire time, baby. Et si vous avez des échecs, plus d'échecs que vous avez dans votre vie, vous devez savoir que oui, euh, Dieu veut faire de grandes choses avec vous. Et c'est pour cela que vous devez pas seulement rester à la maison, mais levez-vous, sortez, trouvez un moyen, une plateforme, une tribune quelque part où prêcher. Prenez, ne laissez point des membres de famille vous déranger, vous perturber, vous distraire. Et vous verrez de plus en plus de grandes choses s'opérer dans votre vie. Alléluia. So I'm going to pray for this section right now. Praise the Lord. There are another four more sessions are there. Four Wednesday continuous. So please join with us. Praise the Lord. Alléluia. And uh, I'm going to pray for you right now. When you're watching Je this session, pour praise moment. the Lord. Our, our God will help you, enable you to access the blood of Jesus Christ. And you can see the changes in your life. <laughs> Je prierai pour vous, le sang de Jésus-Christ euh, interviendra dans votre vie. Un changement, euh, une transformation sera opérée dans votre vie et vous aurez la victoire. Alléluia. Amen. Amen. That, that is right. So, have you pray one minute? Pray the Lord. Le the people, those are watching. Tendez vos mains droites pour que je prie pour vous. Ma chandelle. The people are watching online. If you are suffering any of the failures, the sickness, the anxiety, cancer, any kind of tumors, arthritis, you know, that may be medical center rejected, pious people, bitterous people, praise the Lord, cannot able to talk, praise the Lord. Where is cancer problems suffering in your life? I'm going to apply the blood of Jesus Christ. When the time I apply the blood of Jesus Christ, our God will touch you. Your hand, blood circulation will come in normal shape. That's what my mind is saying, praise the Lord. Blood circulation people, those who are uh, pious people, blood circulation is going to start, restart in your body right now, praise the Lord. Our God will touch in the various place of your body. You are going to get a life feeling right now in Jesus' name. Si vous avez n'importe quoi qui vous dérange dans votre vie, est-ce un cancer, une tumeur, est-ce une atrose, et quel que soit le nom de cette maladie, sachez que le nom de Yeshua est plus grand que ce nom-là. Et par la puissance, l'autorité contenue dans le sang de Jésus-Christ, vous obtenez la victoire. Je prononce la guérison totale sur vous dans votre corps, dans votre vie, au nom de Jésus. Alléluia. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray for this entire session. I was preaching by your grace. Heavenly Father, I pray for the people right now, the people, those who are watching online, suffering various kinds of sickness right now, Father. 
the failures. Medical science, the rejected people are watching. Powerless people are watching. Heavenly Father, according to Matthew chapter 18, 9, 18, whatever I bind on this earth, it will be bound on this heaven. Whatever I, lo whatever I lose on this earth, it will be loose in the heaven. Oh, Père Céleste, merci, merci pour ta main qui est sur tes enfants. Merci parce que tu les bénis en ce moment. Euh, ceux-là qui sont connectés, ceux-là qui nous suivent euh, sur tous nos médias en ce moment, que ta main les garde, les soutienne. Tu les couvres par le sang précieux de Jésus-Christ et que la victoire par le sang de Jésus leur soit accordée. Amen. Father God, you call Luke chapter 10, verse 19, you said, you gave the authority over all the power and serpents, all the, all the evil powers. Heavenly Father, I'm using this power right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray your blood, Jesus Christ, spread right now. The people, those are watching online, wherever they're touching the failures, the sickness in their body right now. In Jesus' name, I apply the blood of Jesus Christ right now. I declare the healing right now. Touch the blood of Jesus Christ right now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Père Yeshua nous a dit, je vous donne le pouvoir de marcher sur les serpents et sur les scorpions et de marcher sur toute la puissance de l'ennemi et absolument rien ne vous nuira. Et Père, je me tiens dans le nom de Jésus-Christ, par le sang de Christ versé à le jour du salut, à la croix de Golgotha. Je commande, j'applique ce sang de Jésus à la vie de tes enfants qui nous suivent maintenant. Je les déclare libérés, guéris au nom de Jésus. Amen. I'm seeing a vision right now. God is showing a vision right now. That means a will. So there is a well right now. That well is too much depth right now. Dick. You have way, too much depth, you know, that one depth in that uh, well. That means one person is in that well right now. Praise the Lord. He cannot be able to come out. He is in the well like a Joseph. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is giving inspiration like a Joseph. Praise the Lord. He was in the well. Praise the Lord. In, inside the well. So that you are thinking how to come out. Praise the Lord. But there is some kind of, you know, that one thinks our God, some kind of a rod or something. Praise the Lord. Our God is showing that one to me in a vision right now. That means our God is making a provision to you to come out from that well to out. Je veux, je, je, je reçois une vision maintenant. Je vois comme quelqu'un qui est enfermé, en barricadé quelque part, d'où il ne peut sortir. Ah, maintenant, j'applique le sang de Jésus et j'ordonne que les portes s'ouvrent. Là où il n'y a point d'ouverture, que Dieu intervienne afin qu'il en sorte maintenant, à l'instant, dans le nom de Jésus. Amen. Our God is confirming. What all the situation which you are facing right now? Praise the Lord. Our God is saying, our God will deliver you. Nothing shall be impossible with God. So that people, those who are watching your life, Father God, I strengthen the blood of Jesus Christ right now. No more tears of your life. In Jesus' name, I declare the healing right now. In Jesus' name, I declare the deliverance right now. In Jesus' name, let the sick people receive healing right now. Then let the tumor disappear right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The like heavy headache, the people are suffering the headache right now. The heavy headache, God, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Shanta ta pata kalla tu irakan. Shanta ta kalla tu irakan. Shanta ta kalla tu irakan. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for the revival of the Asia, Europe, and Africa, North and South America. I pray for all the countries right now, Father. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, I pray for the revivalists right now, Father. Thank you for your waking up, raising up lots of revivalists right now, Father. Heavenly Father, especially I pray for UK, Europe. I pray for the reveal of France right now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, in the name of every obstacle, every blockage, every things we are told, things which is coming against our gospel preachers, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray the blood of Jesus Christ, I bind, I cast out right now in Jesus' name. I declare the victory right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Amen. Father, once again more, I pray for all the nations, especially I pray for African countries. I pray for all the African countries, North, South, West, East Africa. I pray for in India. I pray for all the countries right now, for the Asian countries, for the revival. Father God, I pray for Pastor Bruno join here. I pray for all the pastors, all the everybody, uh, the people, uh, the uh, the brother, those who worship, brother Sir Bruno, and 
Pete, um, Shippa, joined here. I pray for them right now, Father. Heavenly Father, I pray for the people. Those are joined um, in the watching in online. I pray for them. Brother Thomas, the Claire, and Joshua, Tangachan, and Shindo, Saji, Pastor Rajamani, uh, uh, and the Claire, Bixi, and everybody. Those are joined here. Heavenly Father, I pray for each and every people right now. Amen. Heavenly Father, once again more, I bless each and every people. I bless for the revival of every Wednesday we are doing this gospel revival right now. Heavenly Father, thank you for your giving the testimony to each and everybody's life, those who are watching your life. Father God, I pray for me, all our ministry right now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pray in Jesus' name, I pray. You want to say? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So it was Alleluia. a wonderful session. Okay. Alleluia. Wonderful session. Use the blood of Jesus. The second part, third and fourth, fifth part every Wednesday. Praise the Lord. And also we are going to start next week on one more language, German. German and Spanish. We'll be inviting you. In Zoom, we are not inviting any people, but people, those who are interested to join, you can send a test message. Praise the Lord. You can also Amen. join. Personally, we'll send it to Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise, praise so, May our God bless everybody more and more. Amen. In Amen. Jesus' name. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Join from Katiska. Thank God you, Pastor Joy. God bless you. Nous nous retrouverons la prochaine fois. Alléluia.